What's up guys, this is Sir Kibble2, you're watching Battlefield 4 on Conquest, this is Zabod311, the map we did just last game, and I had a good victory on there, and this time I got a victory also. Doing things a little differently though, I've pre-recorded the gameplay footage, that way I can edit it down, and skip all the boring parts where I'm just running around trying to find a flag to capture and seeing what my teammates are doing and stuff like that. So we cut all that stuff out and get to the more interesting visual moments. So hopefully that helps. Please, I'd like to see what you think about it in the comments. Let me know because this is better. Then I'm going to continue forward with this. But I need you guys to let me know what you think. So I've started using a new gun type, the DMR. There's a certain shift in my playstyle now where I'm trying to cap more long range people, but I still want to keep the mid range playstyle that I typically have. When I run with a soul, I usually tend to focus on people who are about mid range. I don't like to get up close on people and stuff. That's normally just happens just by me running into people and stuff, but I don't seek those close range battles. I'm looking for the mid range folk. So recently I just found myself looking for more long range folk also. And this is all trying to adjust to the 64 players. I'm used to playing on the Xbox 360 where there's 24 to 32, I think? I think just 24, I forget. I think it's just 24. But either way, there's so much more space to run around in and you're not getting shot as much. So I'm trying to figure out where I fit in with 64 players, obviously 32 to a team. I'm trying out capping long range people, but I suck at sniping. Earning the DMR was a nightmare. It took forever because I suck at sniping. I had to literally like chip points away in order. It was just like hit someone and I get a point. Yes, get the assist. Oh, thank goodness. Cause I, I really bad. Like I had to chip away at points. I'm just, I'm just really bad at sniping. But I, I wanted a gun with longer range and the DMR would solve that issue. So finally unlocked the RFB. And so far I think it's a good gun for people who are starting off with semi-automatic single shot rifles. As a person who doesn't have the best shot in the world, it's a little difficult to work with because it is a single shot weapon. And so every shot you shoot, you have to make it count. But yeah, mid close range, it's about three shots and long range is about five shots to kill. So it's, it's not terrible if you can manage to get used to it. But so far I'm satisfied with the RFB. I think it's fire rate is just a tad bit too slow for closer range, but it's good enough that you can handle a close range battle in case you ever got that close to somebody. I wouldn't say it's a great super long range weapon, but I would say it's good for getting people out of position if they're long range. If, if you're trying to shoot a sniper with a DMR, they obviously have the advantage because they can take you out in one or two shots. But if you can shoot at them and even hit them, you might be able to at least spot them or get them out of position. So that's the kind of play style I have. I like to disrupt people said I'm not really that great of a killer so that's where I get the most fun and that's how I help my team the most so if that's your play style I would definitely recommend a DMR I'm not sure which other DMRs would be better yet but I'll be experimenting with those one thing with Battlefield that is still annoying me though is it still crashes after about a month uh, well, okay, about two weeks for the Xbox One, but overall, a month, the game is still crashing. It's still crashing on the PS4, PC, and obviously the Xbox One. What was really annoying me, though, was I was trying to get into a Conquest match, and it wouldn't load. I would click Conquest, and it wouldn't do anything. It would just stay on the screen. It'd be like, yeah, you didn't select anything, so I'd click Conquest again. And probably happened five or six times before it finally put me in a match that was almost done which that match was super laggy so it's it it kind of annoyed me today it was it made me want to return the game like it just had that kind of thought you know it was just that kind of frustration i don't know if it's happening to you guys as much as it is as it is me but it's happening 
and it's annoying. There was actually one moment, and this wasn't the first time it's happened, but I clicked Conquest, and it put me in a team deathmatch. So I don't know what happened there. That wasn't the first time that happened. That actually happened to me on the 360 also. It also happened to me on the PS4. So I don't know what that's about. That is a menu UI glitch that just shouldn't exist. At this moment, man, it's, it's pretty obnoxious. It's the number one mode people want to play. It's the number one mode I want to play. I didn't want to play Battlefield for anything else but Conquest. The other modes are just icing on the cake. I'm fine with Conquest. There's no other game that allows you to play 64 players in, in the way Conquest does it. It's obnoxious. I ordered some new camera equipment. I got myself a light and a lavalier microphone because I want to be able to produce some different videos. And hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. But with what I had, I wasn't able to do it, so I just needed to get something that's good with my budget. I ordered it last Sunday, and apparently it came last Friday. But the post office didn't leave a note to me, and I didn't hear them knock. I don't really remember what I was doing Friday, but I think I was around. Either way, they didn't leave a note saying that they came. So I needed to call them and say, re-deliver my package because I need my stuff. And so I called them and it took 20 minutes for me to get on the line with a representative. It took 20 freaking minutes. Once I finally got on the line with a person, this woman came on, she was an older lady, and she was very nice. And so I told her my information, I told her what happened, and so she started processing it, and then all of a sudden the call breaks. And I'm like, what happened? I was looking at it because I was on speakerphone so I could see the screen, and all of a sudden the call drops, the timer's blinking, and I'm back on my home screen on my phone, and I'm like, what? That's after 20 minutes of waiting. So I call back and wait another 25 minutes. I'm writing my review for Resogun as, as this happens and I'm pretty much halfway done with it just, just in the phone calls. So <laughs> I'm like, really? So eventually it all gets worked out after what, almost 40 minutes of waiting. I finally get everything confirmed and my stuff will be sent to me by tomorrow. So that stuff will be coming in, so there will be new content coming, and hopefully it will be likable. So that just about does it. Hope you enjoyed this battle. I'll see you next time.